What should Dynasty owners do with Marquise Brown? Do you want to do you want to jump to that game? Do you want to answer this real quickly? Um, well, I was just thinking about that. I got a I got a team uh, where uh, not not super great. It's a pretty decent team, but it's just not working out this year. Just a combination of injuries and you know playing the highest point scorer or then catching a bad injury and starting the wrong guy some weeks. Um, in ter- I, I would I would if I'm on a losing team he's somebody that I would go out and and try to trade an older guy who's playing well right now and try to get Marquise Brown uh, and I think that's a good target for somebody whose team is doing well and just lost a guy who they were counting on week in week out and now they need some production from you know I don't have a great example because I don't have somebody in my head I'm sure I'll find one as we go through here but you know Lazard plus what could get you know get that guy who may be thirsty for because just because we just talked about him I'm not saying that that was sure. that's the best but get the guy who's been starting uh Marquise every week and getting getting the uh the golden goose his golden goose in his lineup you know maybe maybe you can maybe you can figure out a way to of of could be a nice little buy opportunity to buy Marquise uh, he's obviously uh, going to be just fine uh, over there in in Arizona. I think with or without Nuke. Um, with that being said, in in redraft or maybe dynasty, maybe you could throw Dol- uh, Dorch back on the on the bench. I know they just picked up Robbie Anderson, but it might be a minute before he gets acclimated. And when they were, when they were missing players, uh, Dorch was you know getting some nice targets there for a few games. So. You know, not not the worst ad. Maybe no, maybe not a waiver ad. But if he clears waivers, maybe you can pick him up. Or if you're at the bottom you, of the waivers, you could add him. Maybe you could turn New Hopkins into Marquise Brown. Yeah, I mean that wouldn't be the worst thing either. If you for your rebuilding if, team, if you just to happen to be having Nuke, if you're rebuilding, you could. I would. I'd be fine with sending that that trade that way. Um, you buy selling holding New Hopkins because if you if you had Marquise and your team's pretty good like I'm I'm probably going hunting for for something. I'm going to try not to give up Marquise in that situation. Right. Uh but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Um you know, Christian Kirk's having an okay season. Maybe Christian Kirk plus what could get me uh Hollywood Brown. Probably not the best time to sell Christian Kirk. He did have a touchdown, but it wasn't very many PPR points. No, he had 11. And he's coming off of two I'm just I'm li- I'm literally looking at that, that game log right now so yeah. that's I just kind of put that one up there um so you know I'd be I'd be looking to to go buy uh Hollywood in in most cases and if I just lost Hollywood I'm sure we'll find somebody throughout this go around that maybe I would go try to buy but I'd like I said send an older older guy you know not that Cortland Sutton's super old but he he's just on the screen again on this game you know maybe you could try to get a little younger sending Cortland and maybe getting something back for an injured Hollywood. I don't know. Just some ideas. And new Kind of the idea behind new Hopkins for sure. I'd be fine with that. What's your stance on new Hopkins though? You buying, selling, holding, depending? It just depends on, it depends on where I am. If I have him, um, in the, in that situation right there, then I'd be, I'd be fine with trying to move, move him right now, uh, to try to get Hollywood. Um, and I'm not great, but if I'm, if I have him and my team's okay, or really most situations, I'm probably going to be holding him and hoping that he comes back after week one or two and just smashes and I can get, you know, the, the, the price goes up because everybody's back like, oh, you know, right back to safety blanket on that left side for Kyler um, and New Hopkins. So I think, um, you know, for the most part, if I have him, I'm going to hold him for a week or two and see if that lightning rod shoots back up uh, to the top. Spencer asks, would you trade Marquise for DJ Moore and Dalton Schultz? Ask this guy, because no chance I'm trading for DJ Moore. <laughs> I, trade? I mean, not if I'm not if I'm trying to win. Yeah. Right now. You need definitely to not. Trade him for somebody better to, to get you some better points week to week. Yeah. DJ Moore's I, I, I not the worst long term dynasty player. No, right now. but I don't I don't That's I, not I would, I would rather have Hollywood and it's like getting getting DJ uh doesn't necessarily and that could change really quickly if 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 DJ Moore got traded. But he, like I heard, the Ravens. If DJ Moore gets traded to the Ravens, I don't love that. Yeah. Um. But no, I you know probably not. Not if I'm you know I don't see that as like a great move up. I mean the Schultz add on is nice. Um. If it's if you're playing you know, one point five premium. Um. But no, I'd probably stick with Hollywood there. 
Let's see. Recovering Ridley Truther. He asked about Marquise Hollywood Brown. We did cover him a little bit earlier. Uh, I think before you joined the live stream, so you can go back and check that out. He said uh, who's someone you would pivot off of, pivot from Hollywood to and 12-team PPR Superflex contenders. Uh, he's hurting bad. He had 30% roster ship. He got a Judy straight up in one league and Ayuk in another. Uh, looking for any wide receiver three preferentially under 28 years old. I mean, Judy and, and Ayuk, those are – those are yeah those decent are, returns for Marquise those, Brown right now. Those are those are nice. I mean, I uh, probably value obviously Hollywood not hurt. You're not you're not getting you're not trading out Ayuk for Hollywood, but he's hurt right now, so uh, that kind of stinks. Uh, but whatever, um, you know, maybe you get Devonta Smith. He's probably gonna give good. up a little bit extra. Probably gonna give up a little extra. It's hard, man. This is, uh, you know, I think I think what you were were getting there is 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 decent. Um, yeah, you know, Rashad Bateman's another guy who's been hurt, but you know, if you like Bateman, I don't I don't love the situation that Bateman's in, but you know that 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 could pan out for you. He hasn't been doing anything for anybody, so maybe you could make a swap there for a guy who's coming off of being hurt. For a guy who's definitely going to be hurt for a while, McLaurin, um, probably not with Wentz going out. Man, I'm I'm just staying away from any of those Redskin wide receivers right now. Um, Maybe a Keenan Allen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't love getting. Said under I, don't love, I don't love getting eight. that old. Um, Mike Williams. Ah, uh, maybe a George Pickens. Maybe you could see what's yeah, going on I mean, there. I don't know if you could get George Pickens for a healthy Marquise knock, Brown. Knock on the door. Probably. See what's up. Um, Are y'all dropping Jalen Tolbert? I mean. In Dynasty, no. In Redraft, you should have dropped him a long time ago. Maybe if it's FFPC, you want to drop Jalen Tolbert because you are only got 20 guys on your roster, but mm, yeah. you got to hang on to him. Yeah. All right, last one. Must be in this new league we're in. Big D says Hollywood in a second. For TJ Hawkinson in a two-point tight end premium league, you guys have Hawk, right? Mm-hmm. I wonder if he has Hollywood in a two. Send um, you over for Hawk. You guys are, you know, you, you plan we, to be productive struggling. Yeah, we... Uh, is uh, I guess you can't accept this trade on behalf of you and Big Co here on the air, but... No. Um, but And maybe it's a different league, but... Could be. Um... If it is that league, we we're thick in the tight ends, but they they haven't produced like we wanted them to. Um, Fryer Muth hurt, Hawk up and down, uh, Schultz out, uh, Pitts nothing. Uh, so, yeah. uh, you know, I don't I don't I don't hate it um, because you know we're we're. Thin at a lot of positions. We got a couple of firsts. We got three firsts. We got uh, Deshaun Watson coming back. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, yes, I, I would. I would say I would probably be okay with that on that team. Big Co loves him some Hollywood, especially in the dome. Right. Um, I would like to hold out for Hawkinson to to really get back to rolling to where we think we could be and and shoot for even higher in the two point per reception uh, for Hollywood. But we've already blown one trade involving Hawkinson and a really good player that Big D had. Um, so you know, I, I don't think I would be against that necessarily. So I would say yes in that particularly. In most leagues, I think I'm kind of okay with that i mean the two-point tight end it's going to be hard to come across a tight end that anybody wants to give up so you're going to pay a little extra um you know of course yes that's <laughs> some true lies i need to get that little sound clip not that anybody would really know shout out to big d yeah um i, I gotta get out of here yeah man i'm we just barely made it here to the fourth quarter yeah so i'm out of here i've had a terrible migraine all day Jay Wayne's under the weather. Matt didn't want to come because very he, nasally. He wasn't feeling this whole situation that we got going on. A lot of he said all remote. I said, well, 
I can't do this cool setup if we if we all remote then it, then then the which I didn't even utilize the player page that much, Whoop. but just gave Matt the night off. Pick whoop bubble. We went blind pod. For your pleasure, if you made it this far, definitely hit that subscribe button, like. Ah, fuck me. Forgot to give away the shirt again. Tune in Wednesday. We'll have giving two away. We got John Bauer on on we'll Wednesday. Two away. As long as everybody's feeling good. Uh, we'll be back next week with a little bit more of our regular scheduled stuff here, but definitely keep the Q and A coming. Keep tuning in. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, and all the new uh, viewers appreciate y'all for joining in. If you're listening on the podcast, you yeah, we put this out as a podcast. There's a lot of information in there. Right? Have you been putting it out as a podcast? Yeah, yeah. If you put, yeah, you should put them all out. Do people want to hear about trades? The yeah. Question, do people have questions of? All right. Well, if you're on the podcast, let me get that five star subby and send me some proof i got everybody that sent me in i got them in the list and i'm gonna do the drawing and it's been so long i'm gonna do two drawings make up for my slack acidness but we appreciate you guys come join us over on the discord channel patreon.com slash the ff dynasty give us that five dollar Casey, uh, almost done with this house. Someone said, hope, hope, hope if you finish it up soon, he's going to do some work in here. We're going to contract his ass out to spruce up the place, maybe get a real table. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Do some other shit. Mm-hmm. I got nothing else. Me neither. We'll talk to you all next week. We'll be back Wednesday. Appreciate you. Peace. <laughs>